there, it's Maggie, and welcome back to Wolfridge Nat Neat Nature Facts. Today I'll be exploring with Sam something that humans think is really gross and dirty, and that's scat. So stay tuned! Hi there, I'm Sam and I'm a naturalist here at Wolfridge Environmental Learning Center. And today we're going to be looking at scat. Now scat's one of the most fascinating things we can look at with animals because it can tell us about animal health, how many animals of a certain population are in a given area, and even something about what the animals are eating. Now when we're looking at scat, we're going to be looking for size, shape, consistency, and how many droppings there actually are. Let's go take a look at some different forms of animal scat. So, here we have a lot of different types of animal scats, and we're looking mostly at their form. Now, the first way we can break them apart is herbivores and carnivores. Herbivores, like a snowshoe hare or a deer, there's going to be a lot of individual kind of pebbles or little milk duds of scat, and that's basically from their diet of plant material. When we look down here at our canines, felines, and weasels, you get a lot larger scat forms, ones that are kind of tube-shaped for a dog, our felines are interesting because they have a long, tapered teardrop shape. And the weasels themselves have a very long, almost worm-like scat. And weasels are interesting because they are showy poopers. They sometimes show their scat at signs of kill sites or right in the middle of trails themselves. So here we are, right in the center of Wolfridge, and we actually have a sign of herbivore scat today. Now, we can tell it's an herbivore because when we look at the form, it's in a lot of these small pellets. Now, we can actually even tell what type of herbivore it is by the shape of the pellets. These pellets are a little bit more oblong and they look like milk duds, kind of like a white-tailed deer scat. If we saw something that looked more like a cocoa puff, we'd be looking at a snowshoe hare. Now, in the wintertime, deer scat is often in these really fine, smooth clumps, which means that the deer have been eating acorns, twigs, and leaves. In the summertime, you might see them in more of a pile, meaning they've been eating more clover and grasses. Another sign that we know that this is a deer, because we actually have a deer bed right over here in the snow. And we can tell it because we see the snow was melted in this area in the shape approximate to what a deer would be if it was bedding down. Well, here we are today snowshoeing on Wolf Lake. We came upon a pile of animal scat today. Now, looking at it, you can see we have long segments. And if you look even closer, you'll see little bits of bone and hair within the scat itself. Now, given the size, shape, texture, and the fact that there's little chips of bone and fur, we can tell that it's a predator and probably some sort of canine. Maybe if we move on, we'll see some tracks. Thanks for hanging out with Sam and I today. Next time you find some scat in your backyard, maybe instead of running away from it, you can run towards it and learn more about it. Happy hunting. S. C. T. It starts with an S and it ends with a T. It comes out of you and it comes out of me. I know what you're thinking, but don't call it that. Be scientific and 